and we've arrived at Varanashi Organic Farms. This is a beautiful property which has forest land as well as the cultivated land is completely organic. And this is where the Psycho Block India event is happening. It's a deep water solo event and you're going to find out more about it in just a bit. And this is also where I'll be conducting my animal flow workshop. So stay tuned. I was at a deep water solo event called Psychoblock at Varnashi Organic Farms way before the pandemic. Deep water soloing is a form of solo rock climbing which depends completely on a water body at the base of the climb to protect you against injury as you fall. The only way that you can come down even after making the climb is to jump into the water. The practice of deep water soloing has its origin in Mallorca in Spain since the 1970s and it's usually practiced on sea cliffs. In the farm, the Psycho Block event, which literally translates to Psycho Bouldering, was organized by Let's Play Climbing and Fit Rock Arena and they built a climbing wall at the base of a pool. I was invited there as a guest instructor to teach animal flow. Let's see how it went. This is how we explore the place, wherever we go, so yeah, go. Yes, I tried my hand at the climbing wall too. Not bad for a beginner, what say? Check out that tree house. That's where I'm staying. wasn't that exciting. It was lovely to watch all those climbers and you know just climbing 20 feet high and then jumping into the water and I'm, I'm glad I got to do it too. It's day two now and we're ready for animal flow in about 15 minutes I'm going to be taking the class. Uh, basically just an introduction to animal flow, uh, give the climbers and of course the rest of the participants an idea as to what it is and then hopefully get them hooked. Hello, little friend. <laughs> Best part about staying in nature, you make special friends. And here we have the main stage. I 
always like to limber up and get some movement going before I can start to teach. We started with some basic warm-up and then I got into explaining some of the base positions of animal flow. Since most of the participants were new to this form of movement, I went through the basics and got into some intricate details to help them explore their bodies. It was also interesting to teach the climbers how animal flow can complement their training in the gym or on the rocks. I hope you enjoyed that video and I'm going to be back real soon with more content from the Nomad Ninja Vault. Until then, stay safe.